Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company with Ash. Hello. And we're kind of going down memory lane, really. A little bit, yeah. Yeah. So we're with Challenger. This is a house that... Oh, so, sorry. My yeah. hair. <laughs> no, I was showing the house. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I thought you were getting out of the way of my hair. Yeah. This is a house that we bought a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and we bought it for 112. Mm -hmm. Again, we bought it pre-auction. We actually tried to buy the house next door as well. Um, yeah, but for whatever reason, uh, the auctioneer got a different, a better offer on yeah. that house. Was we were trying to buy both, and um, they actually split them up, and they sold that one to somebody else. It was mm -hmm. like, oh, because it would have been a lot easier to buy two. Um, renovate it, 112. Initially, I was going to do it as a buy to sell, um, and we got an offer for a hundred. So we spent, oh, I forget, it was about twenty thousand, roughly. Very roughly. Yeah. yeah. Bought it for 112, and we got an offer for 170. Uh, did it up to buy to sell. Uh, kicked open the dining room so we have got a living room a large kitchen diner uh, by opening up the space downstairs mm -hmm. and a couple of bedrooms upstairs with the bathroom yeah. so that was fine uh, oh. and then thought hang on a minute here hello um, I quite like to keep this one so we we got the offer from somebody for 170,000 so nice little buy to sell number um, but the the bank that we actually did the bridging on also gave long term loans, and I was thinking, mm -hmm. well, you know, wealth and property is always more buy to keep than buy to sell. Although Ash keeps saying sell for your cash flow. Not say again. I don't say that anymore. No, <laughs> but in much. the early days you were very much like yes. sell, sell, sell yeah, for cash flow, and I was like, I'd rather be skint and have houses. So we always had this like tug, if you like. Mm. Um, and then in a weird sort of karma way, uh, the lady came around to just see the property again and bad luck, I mean this is quite a nice area with really good schools, really bad luck, there happened to be a tramp sleeping in the back garden and so she pulled out. It, it wasn't in, um, around, around the back of the house there's um, some garages, oh. so it wasn't in the garden itself, it was kind of in the block of garages around the back. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so not, not quite in the garden. Okay, <laughs> just around, so it made her feel yeah. really nervous so she pulled out, so I thought, fine. So all I did was contact my bank that with whom I had the bridging and say, I want to have a long-term loan, can I have a long-term loan? And it took five days, which was amazing, yeah. and I had to buy to let, and we rented that immediately for £1,050 as a single let, and it's been chundering long for the last kind of three years, I think it is, as a single let. So bought for 112 rented it at 105 a month, just a nice steady so doesn't it show and then we need to talk about certificates as well and cars but it shows that you can change your mind as long as you do a buy to sell and you know you've got really good margin buying for 112 get an offer of 170 with roughly a 20 grand mm -hmm. refurb that's pretty decent and then buying for sorry 112 sorry and buying for 112 and then renting it out at 1050 single let they've been here for years they've actually just moved out we've got a new set tenants about to move in that's pretty decent too so you're in a really great position where in the most lovely way possible you can't really lose it's like mm, shall I keep an asset and it'll grow up over time and I get the rental income or shall I sell the asset get the money and then put that into something else so that my cash flow is never supersonically squeezed and and in the most lovely way we have those choices quite regularly like I'm a keeper but we do have to sell every now and again just for cash flow mm. and we have all sorts of debates so what happens is a uh, as soon as Ash leaves the building um, I'm like, quick, quick, refinance it. <laughs> I'll be in trouble. So a couple other things here. One is, this is a, an ex-council house, an ex-council area. Uh, don't be, have any kind of prejudice. These are really good, solid mm -hmm. houses. And actually, in this location, the schools are amazing. Um, and what I found fascinating, I think people are at work just now, but I came to this house very roughly like next door was a BMW the car over the road was an Audi and the, and the car beyond that was a Mercedes and you're like how does that fit with the ex-local authority but what it is the schools are so amazing that people are comfortable living in houses that maybe they wouldn't normally live in because they want to get the kids into the schools and then mm -hmm. the second thing was PRC which yeah. stands for oh I don't yeah, know can I can't you remember, remember. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's to do with a, a property being like... Um, a PRC <coughs> certificate. Yeah, so you need a PRC certificate if something has been uh, built with some sort of concrete, solid some solid construction. Um, so basically behind the walls in there, there would have been like these concrete panels, if you like, Yeah. Um, I think. Um, and ours had, been, had the repair done, so it was fully bricked um and had the cavity wall ties and all things like, done like that before we bought it but in the commencing process there was no evidence of this prc certificate being granted um so we had to go about getting a retrospective um certificate granted from from a third party which, which cost, cost 
850 pounds plus fat, Ooh, yeah. a thousand quid. So, so and uh, very nice guy, very nice yeah, yeah. guy, but you know, like uh, he covered the majority of the Southwest and um, you know, he could do this, this certificate for us, which is recognized by lenders, so he could get the funding for it. Um, so we got this PRC certificate done and I think probably three days after the certificate was granted and in our inbox and in the post and all that kind of thing, we got a copy from the council. Who um, didn't have it previously. Who didn't have it previously. So that cost a thousand pounds. Speed bump. Depends. You know, yeah. it, it depends if you're working to those timescales, whether, you know, you need one very quickly or whether you can kind of persevere with dealing with the local authority, which can be a bit of a, a pain sometimes, I guess. So we needed it quickly because we were buying it pre-auction. We knew it was a great deal. Remember, yeah. we bought it for 112. We got the offer mm -hmm. on it at 170 and I've actually kept it. Um, so yes, it was super annoying to spend yeah. a thousand pound, but you're in property, you're an entrepreneur, you're going to have these moments of, do I go for speed or do I go for price? So if we hadn't proceeded and bought the PRC certificate to evidence that it mm. had been rebricked and it was safe, because this is kind of Cornish construction property. So look up things like John Lang, L-A-I-N-G, Cornish construction. Those are the properties that are relatively unmortgageable unless you have a certification to yeah. say that they're now being it's rebricked. Also but if, sorry, if we sorry. hadn't gone for it, Murphy's Law, someone else would have come in and gone ahead and bought the property. So yeah, in the end I wasted a thousand pound, but I didn't know at the time I was wasting a thousand pound and I was much more focused on speed and knowing I had a really good deal with plenty of equity mm. in it. But you know, it's just one of those things, you've got to shrug your shoulders and not get too annoyed. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry, no, it's also worth noting that you may have a PRC certificate for the property you're buying, but you'll also need yes. one for the neighbour um, in, in quite a few instances. Uh, mortgage companies will want to see evidence of your certificate and your neighbour's certificate show that they're both done. Um, I don't really know why, but you know it's one of those things that you need to... And we're about to do a video on a house that I own where I have the PRC certificate and the neighbours don't. See, So, PRC, pre-auction, speed, speed bumps, um, buy to sell, changing to a buy to let, uh, cars. cars, yes, as to it's quite an affluent area, even though it's ex council mm -hmm. house and schools. Um, schools and knocking kitchen into kitchen diner. There you go, all in one vid, less than seven and a half minutes. Bye.